what is up guys in today's video we are going to be doing meta team versus anime defenders infinite in this new update 7 and soon how far we will go into the infinite so the units we are going to be using are celestial tyrant oh my gosh oh my oh my gosh with true spirit abyssal warden wow that's pretty cool dragon mage you know what's up oh yeah look at those crazy double traits by the way oh my lunar impress uh-huh golden adult and last but not least is stage diva oh my gosh and we are going to be using this meta team in the latest infinite map which is underwater city and remember if you want to see more amazing challenges like these get this video to three likes and i'll do more funky challenges like this i'm actually so excited to see how long how far we are going to be lasting huh? lasting that's not a word how long we are going to last in this new meta team oh my gosh and also i will be posting youtube shorts of me getting these double traits by the way since it is not out yet it's going to be out very soon and i want to place my stage diva in the middle i'm pretty sure yeah her range does increase the more we upgrade her and i do want to get my money up you know so we can upgrade our units properly but i do want to place my lunar impress like right around here yeah place her right around here because the first unit that we are going to be using is our lunar impress ah lunar impress meta meta op unit <laughs> so lunar impress is still one of the strongest damage per second with her extremely strong passive and huge line aoe at later upgrades and lunar impress has an insane passive where she will gain one percent damage for every 20 kills she gets which is extremely good mm -hmm, extremely good and how to get lunar impress is through the secret lunar portal which you can get lunar portals from raids and i do want to turn on my vfx for this one so let's turn it up you know what's up and look how amazing stage diva it is wow stage diva is just literally the meta and by the way how to get stage diva is through the brand new uh banner using the ancient relic so good luck to everybody who is uh, trying to get her she is extremely good especially i've been seeing a lot of people actually using stage diva in tower of eternity so if you know you know good luck to everybody of course and would you look at that she gives a lot of money by the way and She's going to be extremely good for leaderboard runs as well, especially on how huge her range is and her insane buff. Oh yeah, look at her buff, bro. She she is buffing my Lunar Impress by... Oh, whoa. it literally just went back down. Hold on. Yeah, she buffs my Lunar Impress 30% damage, lessens her cooldown by 10%, increases her range by 15%, and lessens her upgrade cost by 15%. So that is extremely strong. So getting getting this unit meta and we are just going to get our lunar impresses uh passive to 50 percent so i will see you guys once we are able to do that all right uh, there we go she is close to having her max max buff let's freaking go oh my gosh her range is insane with stage diva's buff yo stage diva is just the meta but anyway that brings us to the next unit that we are going to be using who is abyssal warden oh my gosh abyssal warden i forgot what he does loki um what does he do should i just place him like here in the middle because i'm pretty sure he is full aoe right here in the club in the in the club all right so the next unit we are going to be using is abyssal warden warden is one of the newest wish banner unit added and he became one of the best damage per second unit with his insane passive in this new anime defenders update 7 so what his passive does let's take a gander guys what his passive does boom every 30 seconds the abyssal warden calls a fourth creature from the abyss infused with 200 percent of the warden's current damage 
The creature grows stronger as the wardens harvest the soul of its victims, gaining an additional of 2% health for every soul consumed up to a maximum of 500%. Although, although, listen up. It is currently bugged because his his thing, his his um creature is not even increasing in HP when he when he does actually kill a enemy, which is a very sassy baka. But that brings us to the next unit that we are gonna be using, who is Golden Adult. Oh my gosh, let's go place him right there. So, Golden Adult is still one of the most insane secret units out there with this passive inflicting burn and bleed. And at the same time, he becomes a full AoE at later upgrade. So, I highly recommend on grinding for Golden Adult. And how to get Golden Adult is by defeating the new secret Golden Knight portal that you can grind for using the Golden Knight portals. Which you can get through the last infinite mode, which is... The infinite, infinite mode we are doing right now. Oh my gosh. And we got him to the max upgrade. I did not expect that. But yeah. Oh my gosh. His range is mad. Yeah, That's meta. Okay. Now that brings us to the next unit. Who is our Celestial Tyrant. Ah. Celestial Tyrant. Tyrant is one of the newest obtainable ancient unit. And it became the best hybrid unit with this insane full AoE. Especially he gets an ability at later upgrades, Heavenly Freeze. So how about we get to that ability right now? If we have enough. Oh, we do have enough. So what Heavenly Freeze does, where he will be able to freeze every enemy in his range for 10 seconds. And during that duration, yup, he will be able to vulnerable them, taking 50% more damage, which is extremely strong. Like, what the frick is this ability, bro? Like, one of the best, for sure. Or the best, actually. This is definitely the best ability out there, in my opinion. And it is a global cooldown, so be wise upon using the ability. And then how to get Celestial Tyrant is by summoning on the new special banner. And I wish everyone a good luck to get Celestial Tyrant. Especially, he's insanely good. Like, look at his stats. 714,799 damage. That is with Almighty and Critical 2. Like, that is pretty meta if you ask me. And that brings us to the very last unit. <laughs> the last but not least unit who is our Dragon Mage. Oh my gosh. Alright, let's place Dragon Mage right here. So Dragon Mage is a, one of the strongest unit in this anime defenders update 7 especially he buffs units flame damage by 50% and he has one of the best stats with Almighty which is honestly insane because the only way you can get him is through the ancient dragon secret portal which isn't even that hard to get so you just have to grind without spending money like yo if you do not like spending money and free to play you got this dragon mage he's like literally the second best or if not third best yeah because the ancient tyrant is just crazy with his base stats with a uh, freaking almighty oh my gosh this is this is pretty crazy like if you compare him to the other units right now in the deck wow he is just the best the better better unit although dragon mage does inflict burn and dragon mage does uh does have a wait does he have an ability yeah he does have an ability he has a nuke ability which is a aoe nuke so that is still pretty good but tyrant celestial tyrant is just more consistent compared to the other unit so that's what makes celestial tyrant the best unit compared to the other ones yes yes and we are at wave 43 and we are chilling yo celestial tyrant does have yo celestial tyrant have low range compared to dragon mage what i mean that makes sense because uh celestial tyrant is just like look at his damage compared to dragon mage a boom yo what the frick <laughs> i mean abyssal warden's range is still is pretty good as well oh it's because i have a hunter too that makes sense though i'm so excited we are so close on max upgrading our dragon mage yeah so far my lunar impress is just destroying them as they spawn yo she is just meta also is this the right placement for lunar i think it is i think this is literally where we placed her last time we did this yeah she'll be able to attack every single enemy over there then stage diva will be able to buff that's not stage diva 
there we go stage diva will be able to buff everybody in her range and the fact that i do have earth spirit on her which stuns all enemies by pinning them down to the ground for four seconds which has a 30 second cooldown and this is extremely useful for a leaderboard runs as well by the way so if you are in need of supports go get your earth spirit yes yes so that is why i have it on her and now we have fully max upgraded every single of our unit boom all max upgraded that is pretty nice all right now we're just going to see on how long we will last into this infinite wow challenge accepted my guy all right we are at wave 60 now let's see how much health does the boss have i think we start struggling at wave 100 so wave 60 wave 70 and so on are going to be chilling till we hit wave 100 here we in the club we in the club yeah we're actually chilling though yeah the boss literally have one two three four five six seven only 2 million hp right now and i have been suggesting i have been suggesting every infinite meta team infinite i've done in this game is can the anime defenders devs add the freaking boss hp on the middle of your screen uh, like the middle top of your screen and it will show the boss's hp i think that would be pretty nice especially other tower defense games also have those so it would just be a quality of life as well just to see on how much health does the boss have without actually looking for the boss so please 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 enemy defenders devs i know you're watching this video right now <laughs> 10 million hp yeah that's 10 million hp so far so good i have not seen oh there we go there's the creature one two three four five six nine hundred twenty two thousand oh nine hundred twenty nine thousand hp oh my gosh are they summoning now for 30 seconds wait they are they're starting to summon wait that's exciting i wish i brought dracula in this team but i didn't know who to replace and i'm pretty sure this is literally the best team in the game right now so like i'm not even complaining with the with my team right now i am just so happy for having every single one of these amazing units well i think the only issue that i have with the current uh current units is that the creature is literally not walking he's just sliding through i wish he had a walking animation i think it would have been a lot better if i'm gonna be honest especially these this is the unit that is everybody going to be trying to grind for you know so like at least add some walking animation that would be pretty nice in my opinion but i will see you guys at wave 80 yippee oh my gosh how much health does the boss have oh we can see the wait we can see it this way yeah i did not think of that also if you guys want to have a free camera you just click shift p on your keyboard and you'll be chilling wait this is loki nice how much health does the boss have 10 million hp with a 6 million shield now we're chilling yeah oh my gosh wait this is a nice point of view loki guys yo the boss is just getting obliterated what the frick oh it's frozen from my tyrant not my tyrant. oh yeah celestial tyrant it is tyrant what the frick yeah yo we obliterated that boss sheesh all right excuse me i will see you guys at wave 90 so far so good like we ain't even struggling dog i'm telling you all right wave 90 guys let's see this how much health will the boss have so the last one had 10 million and 6 million shield so this one should have like more than that obviously so come on now boss Yippee! Yeah. yeah so far oh my high sense bro Ooh, oh it's this boss oh this boss has 41 million hp what the frick that is crazy also controlling this free cam is actually so difficult it's harder than it looks guys because i am in high sense yeah. Yeah. kill killer oh my gosh the freeze it's crazy 10 seconds freeze and then she is vulnerable 
she's vulnerable during that time which she will take 50 percent more damage from my units wait that's actually pretty meta if you think about it now that's that's why so that's a tyrant is worth the grind for yeah he has more damage oh never mind wait what the freak oh it's because my dragon mage has been attacking more enemies compared to my Sasha tyrant since dragon mage do have a bigger range compared to celestial tyrant all right i'll see you guys at wave 100 so far so good all right wave 100 oh my gosh yo so far we're not even struggling like the moment these enemies get past here my units just obliterates them what the freak uh this guy has 10 shields and what is that one two 16 million hp and 32 million hp so that is 48 million in total and he still does not have a walking animation what an interesting unit dog yeah Ooh, my abyssal creature is gonna do like 1 million damage against him wait that was kind of meta wait a minute wait a minute also i just realized dragon mage since he buffs flame by 50 percent wouldn't that help golden adult because he does bleed and burn so that is meta wait a minute and we literally obliterate the boss as well i didn't even see him die wait that was kind of crazy yeah we are on top we on top right now ad on top right now all right wave 110 let's see oh my gosh where is the boss the boss even spawned yet oh it hasn't yet oh there it is oh i think we died at wave 120 last time we did meta team so this boss has 100 million hp let's see how well we will do against it oh i already have my heavenly time freeze used that is a shame i would have loved to use my heavenly freeze when the boss was in range but next time i'll just save it for the boss because right now i have it on auto but we're not even struggling are we yeah we're chilling right but yeah yo it is starting to get tanky so the next time the boss pops up i will be using my heavenly freeze so let's freaking go boom heavenly freeze and now he's taking 50 percent more damage from my units oh my gosh Yo, are we gonna we 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 are defeating this boss right wait what the freak we are no we are no wait what the freak oh we almost died from this boss wait what the freak what wait wh how come we almost lost that boss i swear i swear i'm gonna go to my old meta team in this game in anime defenders update 6 and see how far we lasted because wait a minute we actually defeated the wave 110 boss that we struggled upon last meta team wait that is some improvement that just shows this this new meta team guys is just better than the last one you cannot tell me otherwise like that is insane now this is our very first time that we are going to see the wave 120 oh my gosh i actually cannot wait all right here we are wave 120 oh my gosh that is crazy yo why does the creature have less health now or is that the only creature yeah that that creature just somehow had less health compared to the other one which is quite strange but anyway where is the boss yo oh this is the wave 120 boss and this one has 74 million hp one two three four five six seven eight yeah 74 million hp yo this is so pro We're actually so meta right now what the freak i should have my lunar impress to first now yo my lunar impress is carrying us she has 20 billion damage that is crazy oh wait 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 whoa 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 whoa, 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 whoa. i'm throwing i completely forgot about our heavenly freeze wait we're going to obliterate this boss as well wait what the hell excuse me but that is pretty crazy we are improving oh my gosh let's freaking go all right i'll see you guys at wave 130 because so far so good yo our celestial tyrant is dealing 1.4 million damage like almost 1.5 million damage that is crazy
all right wave 130 um why are we in three times one time speed go for it um, i maybe I, I i accidentally pressed it not gonna lie all right where is the boss show yourself show yourself boss at least you can tell the difference between bosses and normal minions between because bosses are a bit bigger compared to the small ones all right this one has 144 million hp is that right one two three four five six seven eight nine oh yeah 144 million hp damn for for celestial tyrant to kill that boss is he needs to hit him like a hundred times for him to be able to actually kill him and again i completely forgot about our heavenly freeze now we don't even have him at a time where it is actually be useful to have right now um well it seems like we are obliterating the boss regardless wait what the freak was that wait hold on a minute are... will we die from this boss i think we might be dead from this boss not gonna lie there ain't no way i think it might be wraps it might be wraps for this boss wait it's not over yet because clearly if we sell and replace we would be chilling yo if i oh my gosh i would have a, my ability back up by now if i use it a lot yo yo wait wait a minute i can literally eat. give me a second yo i can kill you i can kill you right now wait what the frick even the summons can kill this boss yo how about we let the summons kill him oh never mind he's dead already yo that is wave 130 yo what wave 110 was just our op now without the wave 110 we are chilling now we are proceeding into the higher waves of this map oh my gosh let's freaking go all right wave 140 guys Ooh, how much health does this oh oh this boss have wait a minute this boss has 140 million hp as well because 5 plus 9 is 14 so <laughs> basic man <laughs> yeah oh no we won't have the ability once again there's no way i'm doing the same mistakes i keep forgetting man like i didn't i wasn't worrying about this type of abilities back then so i am a bit unfamiliar my bad guys well leviathan king does he take less damage on the the shield if you know what i mean the blue health uh, his normal health i wonder if that's the case um set our luna and press it back to first um what the frick what the frick yeah wait a minute if we oh yo if we sell and replace guys maybe we have a chance oh we can time stop again though okay that's awesome most of our units definitely are still in range with the boss so oh yo we could kill the boss oh my gosh i'm pretty sure the summoning the summons can just instantly kill him yo just spawn like two more summons then i think we'll be able to kill him not gonna lie yo the summons will kill him guys how about that let's let's have it that way let's have it that way yeah the creature as you guys can see the abyssal creatures health are not even increasing oh my gosh imagine we lose here <laughs> no 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 because i trust my creatures there we go gg easy <gasps> oh bruh um <laughs> I did not know anything about that. That is such a shame. Well, we're just gonna end it there because ain't no way I'm doing that over again. And that is just crazy uh, how I do such a silly mistake by me. And, you know, to recover from that, how about we roll on our Poseidon? Because actually, last time we rolled on, on Poseidon, we got an unwanted uh, Almighty. So, will we get another Almighty? Because if you guys did not know, Divine Traits actually increase the chance of getting almighty it's literally 0.2 percent and that is a that is pretty high compared to 0.1 percent in the normal one so w game but anyway oh, what the freak we should have not died like that but you know what at least we can summon twice we can summon twice and we didn't even get anything and some sauce
Wow, what a wonderful way to end this video right now. Awesome. Well, we're just going to end this video right here. If you guys did enjoy that, make sure to let me know down in the comments. Leave a like. You do all those jazz. Now, I'll see you in my next one. Bye-bye. <laughs>